I'm in our kitchen making some of the Fika for tomorrow's birthday party for my little one-year-old. Can't believe he is turning one tomorrow. The time really goes so quickly, even though it's been a really big year of different events and so on. Like we've definitely accomplished a lot, never enough to our standards. But when I write it down, which I have done, it's just such a long list of things that we've actually done, which is definitely do that, if you, especially if you're someone who feel like you don't really achieve a lot of things and you don't get a lot of things done. Reflect back to like the last week, month or like I did, like the year and write everything up that you've actually accomplished and done. It really surprised me on how much I actually had accomplished and it made me feel a bit better that I'm actually going somewhere and I'm not just thinking of my big goals all the time that is like over there somewhere that I still need to accomplish. I've written up in my bullet journal like everything that I want to get done and make from scratch when it comes to the fika, like as in the, the cakes and so. Some things that we still have left to do is the chocolate balls that I'm going to then dip in melted chocolate and then just have a little bit of nuts uh, on top. I'm going to make hopefully some sunflower cookies if I get the time. Going to make my own uh, yam as well. I feel like this list of things to make from scratch is like I've just obviously this is for tomorrow. I've left it last minute, like I not always do, but always do because <laughs> I still have a lot of things like decoration wise that I want to create. And I have two little monkeys at home. Tobias, obviously, he hasn't started daycare yet. And then Torbjorn, who's in there somewhere, he don't go on daycare on Fridays because I want to have him home and do a lot of things together. So this morning we have made like so many art and craft. It's crazy how much things you can or like have to get done throughout the day when you have a toddler. Uh, it's probably the biggest thing that really surprised me having kids that it's not just spending oh this morning I'm going to or like we're going to do uh, painting with watercolors for example and that's going to be like your morning set it's more so painting with watercolors for 10 minutes and then you need to go on to something else for like three minutes and something else for two minutes something else for maybe seven minutes if you're lucky and then something for maybe 15 minutes, which is like, oh my God, it's such a long time to do something. By lunchtime, you've kind of really exhausted your list of to-dos, kind of. Like it's just one thing over another. So we've done like Play-Doh this morning. We made Play-Doh with like making like snowmen. And so I had little eyes that we put on the heads of them. And then we've done like coloring in, we've done, counting and the ABC, not ABC, but his name. So we've been writing Torbjörn and he's been like filling that in. Uh, and then we made some ice creams now as well whilst I was in the kitchen so that he could also, again, like we can do something uh, together. And now they are probably doing something they're not supposed to do. I got all my like paperwork and like all wardrobe and so that they got it open now. Hey guys, what are you guys doing? Well, what are you doing? What are you up to? What are you doing, Cheeky? Hello? What are you doing? Okay. You turning one tomorrow? One years old? We're gonna have a party? Yeah, and maybe some balloons? Do you want some balloons? He's crazy about balloons. And Tobin, what are you doing? Hey? What, what are you, oh, do you want to have some balloons at the party tomorrow? Yeah, do you like balloons? Yeah. What are you doing there with Mummy's shirt or string to my shirt? Have you pulled it out? Have you? Oh, are you fishing? Okay, are you getting anything in, on the hook? Is there something on there? Yeah. Oh, Sleuth, is it finished? Okay. Mm, okay. 
fish? Oh, is it a fish? Oi, oi. Are you going to eat the fish? <laughs> yeah, we don't eat fish, do we? This is my wardrobe. Obviously, that's all folded or used to be folded and they've just pulled it out but I have no order in here at all I'm going to declutter even though it's like the Christmas shirt um, but I literally don't have that's Andrew's stuff on the corner and this is my stuff I don't really have too much clothes that is full of clothes though and a few other things as well like sheets and so but I'm going to do like a huge clear out so I've really set out myself to really minimalize minimalize is that a word like reduce the amount of clothes that i have at home and things in general that we have as a family at home trying to only keep the things that we are really using that we really need and um, by doing that like having a decluttered area of space physically I believe is going to make huge difference in, to my mind because I know that when we moved from Australia to Sweden and we had to get rid of all the stuff that we owned because it was just it was just no point of shipping things over like the sh cost of shipping things over was just kind of just outweighed of buying everything kind of brand new so we made a huge decluttering I mean I had still a lot of things even though I've done decluttering every like three to six months it's never been like a proper deep deep clean decluttering I don't know if you can say that because we moved over to Sweden with only a suitcase each so all my stuff was in one suitcase and that is pretty much everything that I owned and I just remember how that really made my head so much clearer, like my mind, oh, it was amazing. Now we've been here in Sweden for one year and we've already accumulated so much stuff and I'm, I don't even know, we haven't bought a lot of things, a lot of things have been given to us which is very amazing and grateful for that or we kind of found like a ghost someone else is cleaning their house out and it ends up at our house and you know that kind of cycle which i think is great in terms of like recycling or if uh, someone else like for example we have some friends who gave us a pair of gum boots that they couldn't use anymore but we really needed a pair same like exactly that size and everything so that is a good way to reuse things that's not having things just in case you need them for example when we moved out of the house from Australia I went through all the party bags you know those like gift bags that you receive when you get like get given gifts even though I did use them or reuse them for other people's gifts and so I still like did a count and it was 200 bags 200 gift bags insane like it's, that's that kind of gone over the thing of like they might be useful in the future like that's a lot of gift bags I'm not gonna use them 